Hello, folks, and welcome to the broadcast. Got a good matchup for you for the Pacific League for Twilight Struggle during the semifinals here. It's going to be Chris Yu versus Patrick Gong. I am joined by J.R. Jones. How you doing, J.R.? Doing good. Happy to be here. Back to get Game 2 and, if necessary, Game 3 of this series done. Yeah, definitely. A best of th uh, three series. So first to win two games. Patrick ended up taking the first game. They've switched sides. We're still going to be looking at Patrick's point of view here, and we'll get the game pulled up as we take a look at this bracket here. Winner goes on to face uh, Michael Panateri, the defending champion for this Pacific League. Yep, and uh, loser will go play uh, Jan in the third place match, which does have uh, Champions League implications, so that'll be an important game as well, even though it's the third place game. Yeah, for sure. All right, we got the game pulled up. We're going to be watching at 2x speed here. Uh, what do you think about Patrick's opening hand here as USA? Um, it's, it's not bad. It gets significantly worse if he gets purged, of course. But if he dodges purge here, I'd, I wouldn't be too had, sad to have this. Middle East scoring is probably the best US headline. And uh, he has a decent number of ops and decal that he can either uh, that he can try and hold. And if he gets blockaded, he can give sock ofs and uh, just face decal, unless he gets purged. Yeah, like he's opening the 3 3 2 2. He's got sock ofs in his hand, so he doesn't have to worry about Italy getting open, uh, emptied there. Does go Marshall plan, which is a little bit surprising. Thought he would want the 4 VP or at least a shot at it and save the 4 op card. Yeah, definitely a little surprising. And now with AI War headline, uh, the Middle East could get very scary, but he dodges the war there, so. Even if this coup hits, he's not in as bad a shape. If he'd lost Israel and Iran, though, he would have probably really been kicking himself for not uh, dropping the scoring. Yeah, wins that 50 50, and then another poor roll there. And he still gets off the 4 VP there for the Middle East, which is nice. Yeah, that's about as good a start as you can hope for. Uh, a 2 op coup saying Chris might have a pretty weak hand here. Yep, another 2 op. Now France is going to go up to 5, protected from all the nasty red cards. Yep. And now Patrick has the option. He can either spread into Malaysia or he can uh, counter coup. Yeah, kind of scary here. I mean, we saw Arab Israeli. Uh, you would think that Chris would have led Suez instead, but a failed coup of Iran could have seen maybe Israel get taken out by Suez. Yeah, makes me... He probably doesn't have, but I like this coup back. He probably doesn't have Vietnam revolts. That probably would have been the headline over AI war. Yeah, it's and in Patrick, Patrick of course, has decal. Oh, yeah, it's in Patrick's hands. Yeah, so, yeah, so no rush on Malaysia there since he's got both no. of them. Only, only risk is uh, D stall, yeah. um, which could be in Chris's hand. Yeah, D stall would be pretty scary right now getting that one into Thailand, Venezuela, Chile, and Angola. Maybe but even Libya, the, but Middle East is scored. Yeah, and with that big coup back, even if uh, Patrick does lose it out on Thailand here, he has the inside track on uh, Pakistan. And Chris does have it. Mm -hmm. Goes for a pretty standard, I would say. Um, he stalled two into South America, one into Africa, one into um, Thailand there. It all makes sense. Now, yeah, see if Patrick is considering a realign. It looks like he's not, though. He would probably have to give up EU for that and then leave the hand pretty hard uh, with ops for the rest of the turn. Yep. This does open up probably a little bit if he wants to play Vietnam a turn early. Um, he could probably get away with that now. Yeah, sock gubs for blockade. Probably wants to try and hold D call, so you probably see EU and then Vietnam, maybe one early. Yeah, a little unfortunate that he's going to want to hold sock gubs and D call as his last two cards here. Um, 
because it means you're given that Vietnam early and your last AR is not going to uh, create much in the way of a threat. Yeah. See what Chris wants to do here. I imagine he wants to get someone to South Korea and definitely flew up Thailand. Wow. Very surprised. I, I, may, I guess Chris probably has Asia in hand. I, I'm very surprised he chose to give up the China card right here. Yeah, like you mentioned, um, maybe a poor ops hand for him. Uh, does grab that domination. Nothing Patrick can do unless he had a four up there. Well, even with the no, four so, up, he couldn't do it. No, so I like going into Colombia here. Um, might be wrong, but I'm really thinking that Chris has Asia in his hand. And if that's the case, uh, forcing him to fill Venezuela here is a nice um, distraction. Maybe Patrick could... I, I don't think Patrick can block it, but Maybe make Chris, Chris sweat it here a little bit. Yeah. He's just going to take the domination. So Patrick will probably give up Vietnam and get at least one into Venezuela. Uh, he's going to hit space yeah, first, actually. A little surprised with hitting space first. I think I would have given up Vietnam to get at least one in Venezuela. Um, Maybe one into India as well, because yeah, now that's kind of blocked off. And Patrick knew he was giving Vietnam here on this last AR, so he knew that it wasn't going to create any sort of a major threat. Yeah, Asia and Middle East gone here on turn one. He elects to go into Egypt before Nasser comes out, so he doesn't lose access to Libya. And... Which I think is probably probably a good play. Pretty high low hand here for Patrick, fours and ones. Does have purge, so he doesn't have to worry about that. What is he going to be afraid of here? Could be afraid of De Gaulle. It's not, it's not the end of the world as a headline, but it's not great. Um, yeah. Cambridge, he doesn't really have to worry about because that doesn't do anything in Europe. Patrick's going to need one more in Italy before the end of this turn, though. Although, no adjacency as of right now for Chris to Italy. Yeah, and a decent chance that he won't have it with Patrick not having Warsaw or Comic-Con in hand. Um, oh, really, only realistic option would be a De Gaulle event, which we see right now. Yeah, even not Purge, though, like like you mentioned, it's 3-1, to one, so you're not too concerned about flip it getting flipped on you and you got Truman in your hand. Ooh, a monster oh, six. But there. he gets a monster six there. What do you think about that coup target of uh, Egypt over Panama though? That's a little interesting. Yeah, no adjacency to it. Panama's one less, but uh higher payout there. If you do succeed, you get access to Libya. Yeah, that's a good point. Gets you two. Gets you two battlegrounds. It would have made Nasser. It would make Nasser free to play if it was in Patrick's hand, but it is not. Yeah. So Europe should be plus five for the blue. Make score track go one up for blue. And where where did that one up from blockade just go? India. India. Okay. That makes sense to defending step your war. I was I was thinking just score Europe right there, but you don't you don't want to get a IP ward out of Pakistan and lose India. Yeah, and there it is. So De Gaulle does give uh, Chris adjacency to Italy now. Also makes France weaker. So. Yeah, and Suez back in the deck. Sock goes back in the deck. So Patrick may need to consider uh, buffing up Europe here a little bit before the end of the turn. Yeah, you could even be safe if you just hold Truman and use it as a potential headline in case you do see sock govs. But Patrick probably going to uh, be able to stop Asia Dom, and he gives up China card to jam North Korea. That's a very aggressive play. Yeah, uh, I like it. He's purged, so he can't fix it uh, with yeah. a four up. And now Patrick probably going to have Asia Dom of his own. 
No. Country count. Okay. Yeah, country count. Uh, he's going to probably probably get there, <laughs> but it's going to take a while, and hopefully it doesn't get dumped on turn three before he has a chance yeah. to grab it. Yeah, if, if Patrick wanted it immediately, he could have gone to India, one Philippines, and I think that would have at least taken one, two, three, four, five to five to four. That would have taken the Dom, but it, he would have lost out on North Korea in the long run. Um, mm -hmm. I like that backdoor into uh, Libya, so he'll get Libya here, um, assuming a coup from Chris, which we will almost certainly see. Yeah, no protection here of Europe, so Sokkov's redraw. Don't see it though. No, not must not have much good uh, uh, headline there. Fidel, fine, but nothing, nothing special on the headline. Patrick probably a little sad to see himself with CIA here on turn three. Would like to see that in your opponent's hand since it didn't come out before this. Mm -hmm. So Chris has IP war, US Japan. Um, uh, we saw IP war last turn. Oh, we did. Okay. Yeah. He does have US Japan. I'm Might not be, sure what else. If I'm Patrick here, I think I like the idea of holding UN. None of these cards, obviously, Warsaw or Cambridge. Well, I guess an argument could be made for spacing Warsaw here uh, to keep Poland and East Germany down at three instead of five. Yeah, it is. I, I was thinking the same thing. It is a little interesting uh, with Europe as weak as it is to not event Warsaw here, but probably better overall uh, for your odds of attacking Europe to just get it out of the deck right now. Even uh, those two battlegrounds going to five, that's not super strong once you get uh, the Pope and tear down if you get to the late war. Mm -hmm. Chris definitely taking his time here. Yeah, I wonder if he drew uh, Asia scoring, redraw. I think if he had it, he would just dump it here. Right. That's one is three, agree. though. He's going to take the coup. And he does get Panama. Bit of a shame Patrick didn't have an op to uh, put two in there. Because I, I think Panama's got to be pretty high on your priority list now. Yeah, he's thinking about it. He's. Patrick's thinking about taking domination here in Asia so Chris can't dump it after taking that coup on AR1. And I do like taking the Asia Dom, but Patrick thinks the same thing, that Panama here is pretty important, so trying to, I guess, weigh whether he wants Panama or to risk Asia. Yeah, I think that's the right call here, taking Panama, risking Asia, getting dumped. It wasn't yeah, a bad I, I, early war for for the blue here, so I don't mind just making this game a little bit longer, not getting those five VP or whatever VP from Asia. Yeah, I believe Olympic was even a redraw. I might be wrong on that, but there's not very many redraws in uh, Chris's hand, so just odds wise, you, you it's a sure thing that you get Panama versus you know only a chance that Asia's in Chris's hand. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a very good containment hand, almost getting max value. You should see five ops bonus for it. Ah, uh, defectors. I think that was one of the known ones. But yeah, I mean, score-wise, Patrick's going to go down to the, uh, well, depending on what scorings are in Chris's hand, Patrick could go down into the mid-war, down only two, mm -hmm. uh, with potentially two doms on the board. That's not too bad at all. I think most players would be pretty happy with that as the U.S., yeah, we did see Korean War, but it could have uh, been redrawn by Chris. Looks like Patrick's uh, mulling over whether to block this domination in the Middle East or gain his domination in Asia. I don't think Chris had it because you would have seen him dump it there, so maybe not a rush to fill up Asia for that domination. Yeah, I, a little bit, a little bit lower priority now that Chris. Um didn't dump the scoring when he had the chance there. Mm -hmm. 
I do like moving into Saharan states. I don't think Chris will coo it back. He wants the two mil ops. The VP from that. Yeah, so Patrick, if he fills South Africa, could have three Africa could have Africa Dom as well going into a uh, turn four here. He might have three Doms on the board, which is pretty pretty good if you're the US. Yeah, I'd like to see Chris here overprotect Angola. I wouldn't want to give Patrick the opportunity to fill it up or to flip it under containment. Oh wow, and just giving US Japan just kind of waving the white flag there on um Asia. Yeah. That that makes me think that he probably he might have Middle East in hand right now. Um, yeah, I think so. Not too much Patrick can do, but it looks like he's going to be uh, a little annoying. annoying here, trying to block it, breaking some non battlegrounds. Yankee, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Harry, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a good night. But yeah, Patrick, with the same thing, we're thinking that uh, Harry probably has uh, oof, another big four up. Mm -hmm. Um, curious if Patrick just keeps breaking. Yeah, two VP for Middle East domination. One in Egypt isn't so bad because you got Sadat that comes out later if you don't see Camp David uh, for Sadat. The downside is, of course, Nasser will come back in the late war now, um, since it was just used turn three and is now in the discard. But Patrick, a little uh, five-year plan. Yep, we'll see what if Asia gets dumped, and it does. Oh. Okay, giving up a little... UN over special is interesting. Special is worth two VP right now. And maybe yeah, he's I guess thinking he's special thinking, protect against Sock Gov's redraw. Yeah, I guess he's thinking he wants his two VP from special uh, next turn, and he needs to place an op in Nigeria. So I, I guess that does make sense. Uh, but then you look at this hand, and you really wish you had uh, you really wish you had UN intervention back because yeah, that's a whole UN lot of that you don't want to give up. Yeah, Muslim's not too bad. I mean, you get yourself removed and you just replace an Iran OPEC. Like you can't give up. It's worth five. Uh, liberation. I mean, you could sort of play around it, and Sock Govs can just be an empty action round. So he could mitigate it a little bit, but it depends on what Chris wants to do with his turn. Yeah, and ugh, no, no. I mean, special's a fine headline, but no great headlines in this hand. Yeah. A little, I mean, you're you're going to event special, right? You held it to event it, so I think you probably should just do it yeah. in the headline here. Yeah, and he agrees. And you can still have Suez out there in case, right? Yeah, yeah. If Kitchen was active, maybe there's an argument to go Kitchen in the headline, but and he goes with West Germany. A little surprised. Yeah, protecting against Willie. And a nice big six there on Nigeria. Yeah, and not a lot Patrick's going to be able to do to fight battleground count in Africa. Country count still possible, especially if Chris is going to want to um, deny mill ops. Yeah, and Patrick more than likely giving up Portuguese too for the non-battleground. Does give him a coup target though to get mill ops. Yep. And I would expect him to wait um, for a while in the turn because having Chris will think Patrick does not have any mill ops um, and, you know, avoid taking Africa Dom or anything like that for the most part. Yeah. Flipping of Indonesia signals the Southeast Asia scoring coming. And that Asia, five-year plan Asia really hurt Patrick. Um, he really could have used those five or six VP. Maybe it might have even been seven. Mm -hmm. yeah, Chris continuing just to spread here. Almost got a full, full scoring card for Southeast Asia. Yep. 
No rush on Patrick South America because Patrick would have obviously dumped it earlier in the turn. Chris is going to need one more in Venezuela to help protect against VOA, though. Yeah, and there is the Southeast Asia, just like you thought. Patrick kind of stuck just dealing with these bad cards now for most of the rest of this turn. He has to go, you give up Sokovs, has to give up Muslim. We'll give up Portuguese yeah. at some point. I, I think Lib's probably the hold card since that's the only card in his hand that he can't uh, can't repair. At least with Muslim, you get two ops off of it. You only have to put two under Iran, and you get two somewhere else you could put. Yeah. I, I assume he'll take out of Iran and Jordan, but you're probably not going to refill Jordan. Okay, there is the control of South America. what Patrick wants to do with these two ops that he has. Thinking about a, a quick break of Venezuela to break up the control of South America. I don't think Chris has the card. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, you would th think that he would have had a little bit more priority on that if uh, he had it, but... Mm -hmm. I was going to say, I, was, I like the bots want to play. It sets up for maybe a grain cells of Angola, a coup, and then setting up a real line of South Africa. Ooh, and Chris climb, climbing up that uh, space track. Yeah. Patrick gets his mill ops. Chris will probably take Africa Dom here now that he's uh, not as worried about taking stepping into non-battlegrounds. Yeah, he's got to be kind of worried... Country count is five to four in Africa for blue, but he's not overprotected Venezuela yet, so he's got to be afraid of a poke in Venezuela, and that's probably why he won't coup in Africa. Yep, there you see the overprotection of Venezuela. And take South Korea. Probably the longest I've seen it be open. I don't think I've ever seen uh, neither player take it uh, before turn four before. Yeah, it's been a while even before I've seen... North Korea be blue. That set up a potential okay. realign in the future, but yeah. But same could be said about South Korea. Um, mm -hmm. If if Patrick's going to realigning, and he reached for Lib Theo for just a second there, and then thought either realized he clicked the wrong card or thought better of it, and is giving up NORAD. Yeah, one more France could be good. Protect against Suez, and. Let's grab ABM. He's going to look to headline that to keep it safe from missile envy. Yeah, this hand's this hand not not great, but at least less problems. Um, Korean War is pretty fine to give up here. It's pretty unlucky. It's the Max Goldman special if you uh, lose the war, and he already has uh, South Korea in any case. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it has to be ABM here. This is a big coup be... of Brazil here. Or let's see if Patrick plays it safe and goes for Africa. Or you could be insanely risky and go for a coup of Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> I, th uh, I think we'll probably see Brazil here. An Africa coup does not even flip Dom yeah. to Patrick. So, no. oh, but now it hardly matters. It goes because... Argentina over Brazil, which is a little interesting. I guess Patrick thinking, is thinking it's a little bit more safe so he doesn't get realigned from Brazil if uh, Chris would have went Uruguay there after the quag. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, not too bad of a missile. If he does fail the quag. Quite quite bad to fail the quag, though. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. And that is going to hurt a lot. Ah. <laughs> uh. Like oh, good no. old Quag special in <laughs> RSP. No. Okay. Wow. This is going to be tough now for Patrick to come back. Um, yeah, I believe he could have uh, scored Middle East right there, which I guess he should have. Um, yeah, he's going to lose a battleground so, now. Yeah, he needs to score Middle East. I think he, yeah, he just saw it highlighted. He's like, oh, I could score this now. 
This yeah. is out on one VP. May not matter though. No, I, I, I don't think it's going to matter. He, he's just in awful shape here. Uh, Chris, Chris still even has a coup, um, to take at some point during this turn. But um, yeah. If he not has, available uh, currency. South America to end the game here. Worth eight VP. Oh, man, what a just absolute disaster. Like in an entire turn, um, doing nothing. Yeah, losing out on lose. South America, losing out on Europe. He at least he at least retains Panama for now, but yeah, he's gonna lose France here. He might lose Panama. Patrick realizing it is one VP <laughs> for who was there, I think, is what he's talking about. Ooh, and decal, that's gonna hurt. I think <laughs> Africa potentially for control now. Oh man, this is just this is <laughs> poor Patrick. This is so sad. That's I've, I've never seen uh, in one of my games a quag go this long, but Chris got basically the perfect cards for it. You would think in the game rules, you're like, eh, if you get quag, then it just ends at the end of the turn. You don't have to deal with it next turn, even too. Yeah, and I mean that that was the the perfect series of events that had to happen for um for that to work out. He missed with missile envy. Yeah. Chris drew both. Just just brutal. Yeah, Max calling out for the salt for purge and then doing it again. He would at least get one try uh with EEU. Can you can you give the China card to Quag? I don't know if that's a thing. If it is, maybe he could no. do that too. You can't. You can space it. Oh, okay. You can't give it to Quag, though. Sure. <laughs> Patrick sending a prayer to the Playdeck gods um, for the only way he survives. <laughs> yeah. Even that would be hard to come back from this board down 12 VP, though. Yeah, I mean... I mean, you have Asia and Central, but... I, I think this one is uh, pretty pretty close to over. I mean, we still have DEFCON chance out there. CIA is not a vented. It's back in the deck if we get a shuffle on turn 7. That's true. That's absolutely true. I Patrick will have to... Brain cells uh... either, and Patrick has the China card. And another fail. Oh. <laughs> Patrick holding on to his three up card. <laughs> In case of salt purge. Yeah. Obviously not gonna dump it, but Yep, I agree with Patrick that it's not game over this turn. He Chris does not have uh that South American hand. And he's out. Central is going to be one. South America is sitting at eight. A little surprised he didn't just uh, take Panama there for the extra VP, but maybe deciding it's not worth it. Yeah. France is a prime target to get realigned there. So that's one way to get back into Europe. Yeah, and uh, he could he could event the Pope here, and then hope he gets tear down and uh, solidarity later. So, yeah, haven't seen VOA, haven't seen grain cells, haven't seen bear trap. Yeah, a little unfortunate that we haven't seen any of those because that means they're either in uh, Chris's hand here, where he can try and mitigate them, or they're coming out turn seven, and we'll only see them once. Yeah. And that says he probably does not have grain or, well, he might have one of grain or VOA and he's holding them uh, for next turn, but. Yeah, five-year five plan is in the bin, so he can't lose a card here. 
Yeah. He might run into a little bit of problems if he kept either of those, though. Uh, he can't space two ops anymore, so... And honestly, I mean, the board could look a lot, a lot worse. Um, Patrick missed an entire turn, and the board doesn't look that bad. The VP track is obviously horrendous, but... Yeah, with South and Africa left to be scored. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you're Patrick, you got to be thinking about um, DEFCON here. Maybe even Europe. Yeah. Tear down this wall could take out France. Yeah, but... With a Chernobyl. For, yeah, but I mean, I'm just thinking for either of those to work out, you first have to survive this Africa and South America scoring. Yeah, you gotta Although draw Patrick, Asknot on turn 7. Yeah, Asknot in the scorings. As you could get away with Africa getting scored, but... Um, yeah, I haven't you, seen you Brush War, I haven't both. seen Junta. Junta gets, could be good to get for uh, South America. No non-battleground for Chris yet in South America. Maybe you should take Uruguay at some point. Both players still need mill ops here on AR6. Chris is going to want to fill up France, though. Yeah, Patrick may be thinking of uh, how I learned pr pr play to push DEFCON up and steal some points with uh, mill ops. Yeah, Keep breaking and then uh, force them to decide. I've seen players give up 5 BP though. <laughs> I think it was Harib who gave up 5 BP willingly, not to ask, not to how I learned, but put in the. I can't remember what country it was for though. That's a real shame to see. Um, that's That significantly lowers the uh, chances of Patrick being able to survive this one. Yeah. Now you're going to have to hope for a brush war hunter play into South America so you can survive the v, uh, VP gain. Yeah. This is a potential 5 VP gain from how I learned here, so maybe he will be able to survive if he uh, gets these 5 VP. Yeah. Doesn't have a 4 up to take France if Chris decides to coup. Ooh, well, mid is very nice, though. Grab oh. South America. Yeah, I don't know what that last card is in uh, Chris's hand, but... Yeah, very surprising. You, you, you think it's got to be grain know. cells, right? It has to be. It, it must be. But if it's grain, I think I would have spaced grain and um, held one of Omit or Kennedy because... I mean, he spaked, nu he spaced nuke subs, though. I yeah. I would have much rather would give up nuke up. subs than... I think I would rather give up nuke subs just because if you're giving up Kennedy and Omit, the chances of it hitting your scoring are so high between the two. Good chances either in your opponent's hands or it's one of the redraw cards. Okay, Patrick gets uh, a plethora of good cards here. Including Grain and Voice, so I really don't know what Chris's last card was. Maybe it was... Uh, well, we saw CIA turn three, so I don't know yeah, what it could be. Bear Trap's still out there. Okay, he's going to grab the domination for Africa. Patrick getting some pretty good relines here. South Korea an option, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow, nice three out of there. Yeah. Oh, Africa is a problem sitting at six right now. He's going to gain two yeah. from the Alliance or one because he's going to coup Panama. He could voice him out of Panama if he wants, but I think he'll probably hold that. Yeah, Patrick could do a play here for Africa with voice. Remove three non-battlegrounds. 
on AR6 and then score Africa. The problem is Chris knows he has Africa in his hand. Yeah, he also knows VOA, which makes it a little harder to get off a good one. Yeah. I like Zaire. It's it's realignable, but if he realigns and fails, um, you can coup again. Yeah, you can move in and you've you got Zimbabwe there. Patrick is going to fight for Africa. Down six, he pretty much needs to, but um, I think pretty good chance Chris is going to be able to get the Dom off here. Okay, China card going back. So Defcon is back on the table. Yeah, I mean, I think Nixon was a known card, right? But even so, I think I would still make him have to use the event to event it um, mm -hmm. rather than just give the, give it back willingly. Oof. Big one. Yeah, I'm really surprised with that last turn how uh, Chris decided to space nuke subs over Omit with him not having South America in his hand. Or Africa. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Gunman is going to reveal everything he already knew. And it's going to be tough. I mean, I think Patrick's not going to be able to get this Africa off unless he, even if he spends voice, it'll be tough. But, um, he has so many countries that are a one stab country with one influence in them that Chris is never going to run out of coup targets here. Yeah, I was thinking earlier with the VOA play because Cameroon was sitting at one. You could remove Saharan states, Cameroon, and something else. And he can't just immediately. Well, I guess he would just fill them back up, but he would need a four up. Oh, maybe you. Where did you remove the other two from? Two from Panama and then two from South Africa. Okay. Yeah, he's got Bear Trap in his hand, and I can't remember the other two other cards. Yeah. Patrick saying in chat he had full knowledge of his hand at this point, which makes sense um, at this point. So maybe maybe this will be enough. Oh, brush war. Yeah, I wouldn't. Oh, brush. Does use it for ops, though, but... Europe is the last card. Europe and Bear Trap. Yeah. So well played there by okay. Patrick. Keeping track of yeah. cards there. Gets away with Africa oh. there. A little painful to have to give... Uh... Not not event junta, but gets out of Africa and he gets out of uh, war games for the time being. Yeah, Patrick's still fighting here after missing that full turn, dodging Africa and South America. Yeah, that that omit getting South America was a huge swing for Patrick. Yeah. Oh, there's South America though. So now it comes out for eight. Yeah, and back now we're right back war into games. war games. He can dump Middle East with Aldrich. Does have terrorism in his hand. With Sadat, Middle East, pretty good chance. Oh, a two uh, helps Patrick out. Mm -hmm. And Patrick going for DEFCON. I think that's smart. I think that's his uh, highest chance of winning here. Yeah, CIA for sure. Oh, well, he's going to bear trap himself, so... Defcon card is probably following that. Yep. Seems likely.
And now if if he misses a role, Patrick could uh, get a Dom off in the Middle East, take yeah, Israel and that was, uh, He's got the Defcon card in his hand because, I mean, he's purged right now and he just bear trapped himself. <laughs> Oh, there's one of them, and he fails. That could be a good thing for him. Yeah, if if he has more than one DEFCON card, it'll be uh, very, very sad for Patrick that he failed that. Oh, Norad's next. No more DEFCON cards. Could still have CIA in his hand, but... Very smart of Chris to um, hold Bear Trap here. Um, he would have lost the game this turn to DEFCON. Although maybe he would have just uh, played Teardown AR1 if, yeah. if he had not had it. Because he did have Headline Peak, right? Because that's why he scored yes. South America. And... Yeah, exactly. So he could have got, yeah, like you mentioned, he could have got away from Teardown there by just playing it. And this is something I have not seen much of. Um, both players missing a significant chunk of a turn now uh, with with their respective traps. Yeah, it worked out. It worked out much better for Chris, but very interesting. Okay, we do have Chernobyl in his hand here. Missile Envy also pretty strong. Um, caught, makes him throw Missile Envy rather than any DEFCON cards. And mm -hmm. uh, also could fish for war games, get it out of Chris's hand. Yeah, I definitely think it would be a good event. You have uh, Soviets in your hand. I'm not sure where Duck and Cover is. Chris I'm, is going to see it coming, no? Yep. Barracks not too bad. Does have a three op, so no four ops, no war games. And, and another fails. fail. Okay, making this a, Patrick. a little bit more interesting now. We yeah, got Asia left Patrick, to be scored and track. Central, both blue. Yeah, and you know, we know he doesn't have war games, so you know, maybe maybe a little bit of hope creeping in now for Patrick here. Decides to work on South America, and there he's out finally. See if Flower Power or something goes in there for Brazil and Uruguay. Looks like he's just going to oh. take Brazil. Got distracted by a call. Oh, never mind. He does not have four ups. Patrick may be thinking about uh, Reagan bombs Libya to get a VP, but to dodge war games, but yeah, like you're saying, we're safe. Mm -hmm. Patrick's still going to need to do some more work to win this one in final scoring, but starting to look a little better. Yeah. There's Uruguay. Take Brazil from the real line. South Korea still open with Asia to be scored. There is CIA. Getting you end. Tough break for Patrick. Mm -hmm. um, Chris getting these DEFCON cards, but getting ways to get out of them. Although I don't know if there was a way for Patrick to cut hand size left in the deck. I don't. I think most of them are gone. Uh, Five-year plan is back in the deck, I believe. Oh, you're right. That's right. And yes, I think Italy is better there just to protect it from uh, sock goes. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there is war games, but I don't think Patrick has a shot of getting to six. No, he does not. The only way he could get to six is if Asia and Central come out as doms. And even then, I don't know if that's enough. I don't know what Asia's scoring for right now. Click on that, Patrick. Let me see. He did us too fast, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, four, three, uh, seven. Well, four to or one. Six. Uh, he has North Korea and Afghanistan, so. Oh, yeah, bonus two. Yeah. So eight or nine. Yeah. Asia Dobbs four, right? So. And I don't think Patrick had the ops for Europe there in any case, but especially not with the reformer coming out here. Well, yeah, I mean, he can just use it to overprotect his European battlegrounds if Patrick tried to Chernobyl Europe, but he doesn't have the ops here to flip it in any case. So Patrick going to be able to even up South America before the end of the game here, probably. Yeah, it could be close. Sadly, BOA came out on turn seven, and Star Wars is not going to be happening. No, Star Wars definitely, definitely not happening. A little surprised he's not... Um putting a couple into Europe here to fight that a little more. But he's going to even up South America. He really needs Asia to come out. If he, if Asia doesn't come out, there's no yeah, chance. I don't think but... it is because you he, he would think he would drop it already because, I mean, South Korea is open. He would either fill up South Korea or dump it. The war could see the event. That'd be a good win. I would even out Middle East. Flower power is in effect though, so maybe you just hold it and don't play it. Although, based off your hand, I don't even know if that's a possibility. Well, he played China, so he can hold too. And even with filling Canada there, he still has to fill a whole other country in Europe before. Um, before he gets Dom back. Not sure why we're putting a second one in Peru. With South America Chernobyl. Uh, he's threatening the domination. I guess. I mean, he already had it with Uruguay, I guess, so. Yeah, that, that that's all the I'm thinking is he oh, since he already had it, and there's Nasser back to uh, block any chance of Patrick having uh, Middle East. So what is he going to hold here? Debt crisis and Iran Iraq war, maybe. Probably, decal doesn't hurt too much with Africa as red as it is. Uh, debt crisis hurts a lot. Yeah, and it's unplayable for sure. I mean, you could space it, but space is worth one VP. Yeah, Asia sitting at nine. Sadly, it's not going to come out this turn. Yeah, I think I think it'll be pretty close. I, I don't know that he would have had it if Asia came out, but without Asia, I I don't think. Yeah, don't the problem is it. I think going to be Europe and trying to commit three ops to it to get the domination. Because I mean, he's got Yugoslavia yeah. already at two, and Bulgaria's at one. So I don't think domination of Europe's going to happen. Oh, and he did have Central. Gets it off for free. Patrick with not even a very good hand here. If he had a, a really strong turn 10 hand, then maybe, but... Yeah.
Maybe you risk the war oh. here and set up an arms race for 3vp. I mean, it, you got to win the 33% chance. You get your head on mill ops, 2vp if you win, and then 2vp for evening, evening out the Middle East. Or never mind, he lost another country. Yeah, so he lost when he lost uh, yeah, never mind. Egypt. So Middle East is seven right now, six. It's six. Six. Africa's uh, three. See what Chris wants to do. I mean, breaking uh, Israel could be good for Chris. Oh. Let's get three VP get there for arms race. Let's see what he wants to do in the last action round here. He's got a four up guard or some event. Redraw of liberation. He probably wants to protect Cuba. And I think Patrick gonna have to use II war here for this last AR. Um decal probably will could get Chris Africa Dom back. So that's worth more than the two VP from Flower Power. Yeah, that, that would. What does country count for Europe? Can he just break Spain or something to get domination? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's five, five. So if he breaks Spain, Portugal, or any of them, um, it'll give him the dom back. I think that's probably his best play. What Chris wants to do. Breaking Israel is worth three points right now. Or way more than three breaking it. No presence. Yeah, breaking Israel seems good. Um, I, I don't know what else really he would do here. Coups for domination in Africa. Okay, so now maybe you give up decal since you're already dominated in Africa. Yeah, I think you just give up decal. You lose a VP from Algeria, but you gain it's better than two. domination better in than Europe two. from it. Yeah, and better than two from II war. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I think you just give up decal. Yep, break Spain. And that's probably the way you get the most VP. I don't know if it's enough, though. Seems close. If he loses by one VP, I'm sure Patrick will be kicking himself for not playing Middle East <laughs> earlier during that quag. <laughs> yes, that would be that would be very sad. <laughs> yeah, Patrick saying it looks like he could have won if he played differently. I guess I didn't I didn't do the country count math, but I guess just the Philippines will break his dom here. Yeah, one in the Philippines breaks his Asia dom. Yeah. That's, um, I wasn't thinking about that either right there. A tough game, yeah. He had to play Iran Iraq war there. But to come back from that full turn five loss. That's crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Patrick also mentioning and, real lines of Chile were available too. Well, tight game. So we are going to go the distance here. It is going to be game three, four uh, between Chris and Patrick. And yeah, chat pointing out if he goes II war, it uh, ends up being a tie there, which would not have really favored Patrick. Uh, Pacific League uh, 
ties are just ties and uh chris being the higher seed if there's a win in a t- uh, if it goes one 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 chris would be the one who advances 